More details on the missile strike are still coming in. The big questions tonight, what does this mean for NATO and the United States? CBS's David Martin reports from the Pentagon. As U.S. officials scrambled to determine what caused the damage in Poland, President Biden, still in Asia for the G20 summit, spoke with Poland's president about how to respond to the spillover of Russia's war in Ukraine. In the past, the president has issued unequivocal warnings to Russia's Putin. America is fully prepared with our NATO allies to defend every single inch of NATO territory. Every single inch. So, Mr. Putin, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Every inch. That would require invoking Article 5 of the NATO treaty in which an attack on one is an attack on all. But a tweet by the Polish government mentioned only Article 4. Which is to consult among those allies when there is a belief that the sovereignty of a NATO country has been transgressed and to, and to figure out what the hell happened uh, and what the alliance should do in response. On a day which saw one of the heaviest barrages of the war, it is possible a Russian missile strayed into Polish territory or that Ukraine tried to shoot down a Russian missile and debris landed in Poland. Former National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster knows who to blame. We have to recognize that whatever the cause of this is, that the main cause of this is Russia's unprovoked assault on Ukraine. The Polish Foreign Ministry has just released a statement saying the missile that landed in Poland was produced by Russia, but that does not identify who fired it since Ukraine also uses Russian-made weapons. Nora? David Martin at the Pentagon, thank you.